A self-declared anarchist who's been charged with assaulting Tony Abbott says it was nothing to do with same-sex marriage. 38-year-old Tasmanian Astro Lab allegedly headbutted the former Prime Minister in Hobart yesterday. The incident has sparked another round of sparring between different sides of the marriage debate. Here's political editor Andrew Proben. The Apple Isle offers contrasting lessons in how the nation might deal with a debate as divisive as same-sex marriage. Owners of a Launceston pizza shop suggest wit and good humour. It's a huge debate at the moment, obviously. I mean, everyone's talking about, you know, whether pineapple should be on pizza or not. But to the south, in Hobart, former PM Tony Abbott said darker instincts were in play. Saw him coming towards me. I held out my hand, he grabbed my hand and it turned into a headbutt. For all intents and purposes, legally, I'm remorseful. Tony Abbott wasn't seriously hurt, but the alleged assault found its mark. I worry about the brave new world of same-sex marriage if this is how some of the people who are most enthusiastically working for it uh, are behaving. This was nothing to do with the Yes campaign. I'm not a campaigner. I'm a lone anarchist that felt the need to headbutt Tony Abbott because I didn't think it was an opportunity I'd get again. Whatever the motivation, condemnation was quick. Well, there's absolutely no place for violence or intimidation uh, in Australian politics. How deplorable the attack on Tony Abbott in Hobart was. Agreement there didn't stop opposing sides of the gay marriage question continuing to joust. The slogan of love is love is unfortunately shown in practice to be intolerance. Things like the curriculum in schools, uh, gender fluidity, uh, religious uh, freedom, these aren't the issues. A bloody attack on Kevin Rudd's godson, a pie in the face of Qantas boss Alan Joyce, shows rainbow rights in rage. So has the AFL's decision to support the Yes campaign. You have no right to get involved in political messages. Let people go to the football and do what they want to do. Just watch the game. The same-sex marriage debate was always going to be emotionally charged, and there's rottenness on both sides. But with seven weeks to go until voting ends, keeping the debate within the confines of civility may be political leaders' biggest challenge. I mean, this is a campaign about respect, and there can be no room for disrespect, either verbal or physical. The wisest things are often said in hope. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.